Hey, what's good everyone? This is Adnan Ray in the Clutch, and uh, I know you guys saw my recent video uh, where um, I made my first vlog for uh, for this channel um, with the beat and greet for Jaime Jaquez at the Dayland Mall in Miami. And um, oh my gosh, like I said, it was a crazy atmosphere. I've never seen such a huge turnout, at least in person, um, you know, live. <laughs> like, I've never seen like a huge crowd, huge, like, just fans going crazy everywhere, like a massive line um, to meet Hame. And like, it was just, oh my gosh. Like, I at one point, I felt like I was in a commercial or like in a movie because there were so many fans that were like, rushing to the front entrance of the store like just holding their phones like this just trying to get like a a video or trying to um take a picture with hame um while he was uh um entering to do um the meet and green autograph session and it was oh my gosh it was unbelievable i had an amazing time it was uh really cool and uh it was a huge dream come true so uh I want to thank God for this, uh, number one, and also I want to thank uh, the Miami Heat and the Miami Heat um, stores for um, for coming up with these uh, these events. It really means a lot to a lot of us fans, and it's a uh, just overall really great experience, and um, it creates cool memories like like these. And um, and yeah, like I said in the video, um, you guys can check out um, the Miami Heat store on their Instagram page or even on the team website of the Miami Heat um, to be able to keep up and um see if there's going to be any other events because i did spoke with the manager and uh his name's alex so shout out to him he told me how um there's going to be more of these events god willing uh later on the season so um yeah um when these events come through um i hope maybe god willing i can see you guys uh then and we can um experience this uh really cool atmosphere so anyway uh, another piece um of the video that i did mention is that i'm going to make a video on ahame haquez on his performance and um, that's what this video is about today. And uh, Jaime Jaquez, he's been doing really amazing for the Miami Heat. He's um, already up there um, with uh, Victor Wimbayampa and Chet Holmgren as uh, one of the best rookies um, in this draft class. Uh, and also along with uh, Asar Thompson. But um, <clears throat> the thing is that, like, uh, you know, Jaime, he's not getting the same recognition from the media um, like Chet and Victor Wimbayamba. But um, hopefully, um, you know, after this uh, video and with my suggestions, um, hopefully he can uh, be in that conversation and like uh, hopefully God willing uh, win Rookie of the Year. But uh, anyway, he was in, like I said, he's been doing really amazing. He's averaging uh, 12.4 points per game, three and a half rebounds, two and a half assists, one steal, 0.2 blocks, shooting 52.5% from the field, which is amazing. And shooting 38.6 from three, which is unbelievable. Like, wow. Like he's doing really, he's just really good at his overall game. Yeah, he's shooting. Uh, he's just like with how he shoots is like he doesn't do a rush or he's not like just trying to like you know make things work. If anything, he lets the game come to him. Like he slows down the pace. He can shoot um, turnaround jumpers. He can shoot the three with no problem. And um, he's very mature. A lot of people um, said that about him, like especially like uh, coming to the draft because he was a, a senior, whereas most of these people um, from the draft are either um, one and dones or um, G League prospects. And so uh, now we're seeing this on the court and um, Jaime Jaquez is doing amazing under a great system. He's already accomplished as he uh, won the Eastern Conference uh, Rookie of the Month. <clears throat> And uh, one of my favorite moments was um, when Jaime Jaquez, he um, went for a dunk um, in Toronto with Scotty Barnes involved. And I was like, what? Look at that. You know, like, I believe, you know, God willing, like, as long as he stays healthy and he just keeps doing what he's doing, just keeps working hard and just buying into the system, I believe he could be a huge star for the Heat. And... Um, my challenge to him because I want him to be rookie of the year. Okay, this is not any knock against him. If anything, like this is me supporting him because I don't believe it's fair that uh, only two guys are getting recognition um, to possibly be rookie of the year. Whereas you know Hame, he's doing really good on a championship contending team because we got to remember the Miami Heat were just in the finals this past summer, and Hame Hakez he's a huge contributor for the Heat. And yet he's not getting enough recognition because of it. So my challenge to him is that can he be the leader of the Miami Heat like on a consistent basis every single night, especially when Jimmy Butler is out for a game or Bam on a bio or Tyler Hero, 
you know, um, when they're both like Tyler Hero and Bam Adebayo right now, they're they're not playing. But um, can um, Jaime Jaquez in this case um, be the second guy or even the the leader of the team? You know, just take over for the Heat. Let the like he lets the game come to him. Let's see if he can like go for like um, 30, 30 points or for forty points and like um, bring some bring some media buzz around him. Like um, and. Uh, Especially if we could do it against like a, a a contending team, a rival like the the Bucks or the Celtics, because that'll that'll force um, the media to talk about him because he's doing it on national television. I'm not saying that he only plays really well on national television, but I'm saying like if he can like basically sort of turn it up a notch, like with the with the lights being brighter, so that it'll force the media to now talk about the Miami Heat and talk about Hame, and now instead of like the conversation being only about Victor Wembanyama and Chet Holmgren's rookie of the year. Let's throw on Hami Hawkes and like, um, hopefully God willing, he can um, um, just up his uh points per game so that he can um be in that conversation because I don't believe it's fair that um only two guys are um are getting the the talks um yeah they are I'm not denying their their greatness because they're both like big men and they're both doing really amazing on their respective teams with their respective um teammates or coaches. Um, but I just want like the Miami Heat to get some recognition because the main thing with the Heat is that they overachieve, they do amazing things, but yet they're not getting recognition for whether for MVP or for defensive play of the year or rookie of the year now. That's why I made a recent video on Bam on a bio that he should be defensive play of the year because he's doing really well on the Miami Heat when they need him the most and their defense has um, stepped up big time in the playoffs. That's how they were able to get to the finals. And same with Jaime Jaquez uh, as Rookie of the Year. Like, he's doing a really amazing for the Miami Heat when a lot of people were saying the Heat were done, they're not going to do anything. And yeah, Jaime Jaquez, he's a big reason why the Heat are not only afloat, but also they're doing really well and competing um, with their top rivals. So, um, and I believe that as long as this game gets better, especially on his scoring end, and, um, you know, especially if you can play a, and national audience to um, force ESPN and um, Fox Sports or Bleacher Report, whoever else is out there to uh, to talk about him. I believe it's only gonna get better from here. So, um, but like I said, he's an amazing player. He's doing amazing for the Miami Heat. Doing amazing um, with his um, with all around his game. All I want from him is just um, to just uh, just keep it up and uh, be consistent. Turn up a notch in the in primetime game so that um, he could be talked about more and. Uh, he can be truly in the running for rookie of the year. So that's all it is right here. So uh, let me know what you guys think uh, down below. Heat fans, uh, do you guys like Hame? Um, let me know uh, what you think uh, he should improve on so he can be in the conversation for rookie of the year. And um, also, if you're at the uh, the Dayland Mall um, this past Saturday um, to meet him, please let me know as well. I would love to uh, hear you guys out and then we can talk about it in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I certainly love and appreciate every single last one of y'all. God bless you all and talk soon.